Okay, we just installed this brand new gas pack and we are going to be converting this gas valve to LP. All right, let's take a look at the book. Okay, so you see how I've taken the gas valve out? It's always better when you're changing these springs to have the gas valve out and not trying to do it sideways and upside down because the spring has to seat properly. Okay, so first things first. When you convert, what we're doing is we're changing the springs under here from the natural gas spring to the LP spring. First thing you can do, take the caps off. Underneath these caps are two little white screws, you'll see them. We're going to take those off. Pull that out. Okay. Let's pull the other one out. Okay, so you see those springs in there. You can take a little Allen wrench and pull those out, okay? Okay, now, when you get your LP kit, you're gonna notice there's two different springs in there. One of them says White Rogers, one of them says Honeywell. If you have a White Rogers gas valve, you need to use the White Rogers springs. If you have a Honeywell gas valve, then you're going to use the Honeywell springs. We have White Rogers, so we're gonna put this away. Okay, you see those springs are seated right on top of those, whatever you wanna call them, buttons. So you want them seated right. Now let's put the screws in. Here's a quick note. Be really, really careful because those plastic screws strip very easily, so make sure you thread them correctly with your hand first. Okay, now they're in there. We're going to leave the top caps off because we have to adjust them. Take a look at this. Okay, if you notice on the instructions, it says replace the high regulator adjustment screw, that's the plastic one, and adjust approximately 12 turns to the bottom stop. Replace low regulator adjustment screw and adjust approximately eight turns. All right, now we're gonna put the gas valve back in. Okay, now you're gonna use an Allen wrench to take the Allen key out of there. And you're gonna put your gas pressure probe there. That's the inlet gas pressure and the outlet is down here. There's the inlet, there's the outlet. Okay, so we're gonna check the inlet pressure on LP. We are looking for the max pressure to furnace is 14 inches and the minimum is 11. So it's your minimum and your max. We're a little bit high, so I'm going to Turn that regulator down. Okay, see it going down right there. Okay, so this furnace is equipped for two stage. The gas valve manifold pressure must be set with first stage operating at six inches of water column. And the second stage should be operating at 10 inches of water column. That's how it works. Hopefully you learned something.